Uh, we just get up. I mean, it's early. I'm trying to drink my coffee. It's not early. It's nine o'clock. Well, I know, but I didn't sleep good. <laughs> anyway, I'm sitting there trying to drink my coffee. Heidi's trying to finish her nap. And across the room, this is how it is. There you are, folding clothes. Okay. I was just gonna tell y'all this morning that uh, thank you for all the comments I got on my video. I know it was my first video and um, I know I went on about my wrinkles, but this is what I want you to do. Take your camera, put it on selfie mode, and then start talking and see what you see about yourself. Because it's like sitting there talking in a bright mirror and you start to see things. And I just watched a video with Kim and she goes, something's wrong with my eyebrows. <laughs> so... It's not that I am vain and I, I am growing old gracefully. And someone said, uh, you know, she sent me some scriptures and that's mostly what I wanted to talk about is what you tell people. And Christians, sometimes I know when the kids were growing up, I've always loved God. And he's always been in my life with me, with everything I do. But Kim went on a field trip once when she was about 13, I guess. She just got into junior high. And she went to this, uh, it was a fort called Washington on the Brazos. And she come back with these three monkeys. You know the monkeys, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. So I think we gave her like $10 to spend. This was back when she was in junior high. So $10 was, anyway, she comes home and she's got this little set of monkeys. And it says, see no evil, hear no evil, have no fun. Oh my goodness. I was so disappointed in her and looking back at her and I laugh about it sometimes I don't think I'll let her keep it that's how I don't want to say godly I was but that's how sometimes there it's not only black and white but I think especially with raising your children there's that little gray area and she was doing a book report on uh, witches once and I wouldn't let her bring the book in the house <laughs> I made her read it outside, but something that happened to me once, I've driven a bus, drove a bus for 25 years, and um, we were going to Splendora Assembly of God, and they asked me, would I bring the uh, flannel graph to the, because we we're going to the old folks home. So I, I said, sure, I was happy. I, I was so happy to do that. I was so excited about it. But on the bus, you, you wear pants. I, I don't know anybody that, that drove a bus in a dress. And there was this sweet lady, I think her name was Sister Owens. I don't know what her name was, I forget. Anyway, she come up to me after about our second or third time to go to the old folks home where I did the story and she said uh, did I have the Holy Ghost in me and I said yes ma'am um, she said I wouldn't go anywhere without him would you and I said no ma'am and she said well I think the way you adorn yourself isn't pleasing to the Holy Spirit and I at first, I kind of didn't. That's just her opinion, though, baby. Yes. That's, you know. Because I, I was wearing pants to present yeah. God's word. And so I apologized to her. And. Uh, it's just down to your heart, though, not what you're wearing. Well, I know that. 
but I, tr I, I tried it next couple of weeks. I, I wore a moo moo <laughs> on the yeah. bus. Yeah. So, because it's hot on buses, they were air conditioned back then. So I wore a moo moo. And, and then I thought, I don't enjoy this. She took her words, took all the joy. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm very yeah. serious here. So if you're going to laugh at what I'm saying, then you have to put that camera down and go away because I'm very serious. This is my serious message. Okay. So stop laughing. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee. You go ahead. To get. I'm drinking my coffee. Laughing. That hurt eat. my heart. And it took all the joy out of what I was doing. Therefore, I gave her an excuse and I didn't do it anymore. So, but that taught me, don't be so hard. Don't be so hard. Because the people, the, they were loving what I was saying and the way I was presenting it, like, like I would do my children in children's church. But yet, to her, all she could see was I had on pants. So, that, that taught me a whole lot about... Look at the whole picture and, and then watch what comes the the bible says a, a wise man guards his words and if you're gonna if something is bugging you so bad like well i'm not gonna say this but there's something i'm praying about hard at our church and it doesn't seem to bother anyone except me so you know i'm not gonna run and say this bugs the heck out of me i can't stand it anymore and i'm just gonna pray and pray and pray till because maybe there's something wrong with me if all these other people seem okay and i'm sitting there not okay then maybe it's me i don't know anyway there was some reason i wanted to talk oh the lady told me something about vanity and that I have a good heart and um, I, sh I shouldn't let all of the, the flaws because, but that's, that's not what's going on with me because there's no one blessed more than me. And I thank God when I get up in the morning and when I see my little girls coming, I thank God that they're running and they're playing and their happiness on their face. And when they're covered in, they love ice cream sandwiches, but they're two in one. So I'll show you a picture today of their faces, but just the happiness that the children have. And, and I see that and I know that, and I know how I'm blessed. But when you put that camera in front of your face and you start talking, you see everything. And I haven't learned yet. Don't call attention to them, Brenda. Just, just keep going. <laughs> and so I just want that one lady to know, I, I know my blessings. And I do thank God for every day. Um, I'm gonna try to get over not looking at myself. I do love my hair because I'm gonna have to tell y'all what my hair was, my, my natural color is black. And I've always had beautiful black hair. Uh, it's got a lot of natural curl to it. Sometimes if you see me in the morning, if I go to bed with my hair wet, cause I wash my hair every night when I take a shower and this is just curls on top. So I have to spray it with water. And Anyway, before, and, and I like it short. I don't know why. I've always loved short hair. And uh, I know some of y'all don't like it. You don't think it's attractive. And I get that. So, you know, that's why we're all, we're all different. If we were all the same, it would be such a boring world. But um, when my this was black, I started getting gray. And I would color it. And within three days, what grows out here would be gray just no black left down here so um i took a i had a baby brush and i spray it with this 
spray hair color and I'd have to do this and brush everywhere and take the mirror and look so it wouldn't be such a drastic from black to grayish or then I anyway that was that was so hard and so that one day we just decided I needed to bleach it and me and Kim had such a fun time doing that and I think y'all liked the video when we did that but I love my hair now because this is gray <laughs> This is blonde, and once a month, I'll put a, a blonde sort of rinse on it, and keep, anyway, I'm very happy with my hair, so I just want to throw that out there, <laughs> and um, my next video, I'm going to talk about my mother, because there's so many people that say, don't be a pee pat, and I, I asked Jake the other day, because he goes, hey, B. Brian. <laughs> And I don't want to be like my mother. And I'll explain some of that stuff to y'all on, on another video. I'm in, oh, I sat here to fold clothes and I haven't folded any clothes. Anyway, I'm gonna start doing a video in the mornings when I'm folding clothes, cause that's basically the only time in the day I sit still. And well, last night Jill got the kids because they had a scrimmage game. So she picked them up at what, about 8.15? I thought it was midnight. It was not midnight. So, um, really the only time I sit in the morning is my routine. I get up, pick my coffee, take my pills, check my phone for any important messages, and then I sit and fold my clothes while Papa drinks his coffee. But uh, then I make my bed. Anyway, the day goes on, but it, it's really the only time that I'm not doing something. But maybe um, later today, I'll show y'all how my backyard looks because it's got the most beautiful green grass, but it's a it's a fuzzy grass like you get right before the real grass comes. Don't you like, think you need to cut it before we... No, I want to show them how pretty it looks right now. Oh. And then then I'll mow it. We can put show... Ivan in there and Ivan will eat it. Yeah, he'll also eat my rose bushes. Oh, yeah, he might. I had... I lost one rose bush during the the freeze we had. The drought. It started going oh, yeah. during the drought. Yeah. But um, I thought I was going to lose another one, but yesterday when I looked at it, it's got the most beautiful roses on it. Spam call. Um. So anyway, I'll take a picture of how it looks right now, and then um, we'll mow it. I, I tend to do the things like that while I have the girls because um, they can come out on the patio. There's no rocks to throw at them or anything. They can put on the patio while I mow the yard. And that way I can do other things when they're not here. But, um, but I wanna tell y'all about my mom's life and I guess how she become Pee -pat. A pee pat. <laughs> and but I saw something on Kim. One of Kim's titles was it said, "Don't be a Lester." Oh yeah. So, but they all my grandkids know. If you want to make me angry, just call me pee pat, because I truly am nothing like my mother. Um. Anything you want to say, pops? Oh, I, I was gonna say something about that but I ain't. Yeah, because you're making a joke out of my seriousness. No, I'm, I just need another cup of coffee. Well, okay. So you want me to stop talking? Because no, I talk, already said in my other video, I can talk just- Talk as long as you want, sweetie, I don't care. I can talk forever on things. I've had a full life. I, I can talk forever. Guys, there was at one point in my life, I think it was my midlife crisis. I had like seven jobs in one year because I loved going on the interviews. Now that's whack, didn't it? Yeah, that was wacky. That is a wacky thing. Uh, I just love job interviews. I don't know why, but I didn't go from man to man. It was job to job. <laughs> so I didn't have the midlife crisis where you just, just- Well, you uh, had me here at the house. It was no need to go for a man to man. <laughs> but I don't know. I love getting dressed 
that and going for, for job interviews, just like, I don't know, that, that's the most whacked thing in the whole world. Anyway, my longest jobs, I drove the bus for 25 years, and I guess in a total, I was in daycare for about a total of 15 years. But my dream was to go to nursing school. I wanted to be a nurse. And uh, when Daniel was a, a junior in high school, I finally got into the nursing program. And I did super good through um, all of the textbook stuff and um, the, the prescription, all that stuff you do in the room. But then uh, after the first six weeks, then you go into the hospital. And uh, my, my first patient was uh, an old, older man. Everybody had old people. Well, I mean, I, I, I wasn't that old myself, but I didn't appreciate then the old people like I do now. Oh, well, no, we didn't back when we were young. No. We thought they didn't know nothing. They was, well, I didn't think that. I just... Well, I mean, not to know that. They just, uh, they wasn't on the same page with them. And they were old and they were sick and they were in the hospital. Well, that ain't, well, And my dream of being a nurse was working with children. Children. Yeah, children. Uh, uh, and I, I couldn't go into the room with, with that little gentleman. And I, I couldn't. And I sat down in the lobby. And I just had a complete breakdown. And... My instructors come down and finally I got it out. I just want to work with children. And they say, you pay a lot of dues. You work a long time before you actually get to go in with children. And uh, she suggested I go into daycare. And to me at the time, I thought daycare was like babysitting. I don't want to, I don't want to be a babysitter but um, I did. I tried daycare. And it was the most awesome experience, you think. And Dustin likes to kid me a lot. He said, oh, you're, you're just a daycare worker. But when you take 11 two-year-olds, and anywhere you go for a job, if you say, um, I like to work with twos, <laughs> they'll hire you there because nobody wants to work with twos. But when you tell them, you got, we had 11, that's that's the ratio one to eleven in all in all the daycares in Texas and but when you line them up every day, line them up the next day, like lining up for lunch, line them up, line them up, and then one day you say it's time for lunch and they line up. It's, it's yeah. like an overjoy. Just it's awesome. Anyway, all right, guys. I can tell Papa's getting like really bored. No, I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm no, because that's why I need to I'm do fine. my videos by myself without him around. I'm, I'm fine. No, um, you're not. You're yawning. Oh, I could yawn. You want that other cup of coffee? Papa and I are different. I get up, hitting the floor, running. Not him. Oh yeah, let me tell you something about my yawning. If I make a sound when I yawn, she thinks. Don't do that. Well, when she was gone, I had yawned so loud, you could hear it in the neighborhood. It was so nice. <laughs> I go, oh. I hate that. <laughs> that drives me crazy. <laughs> and he just started that. Oh, I've done it forever. No, you have not. It's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that bad. Say, it ain't that bad. Shut that up. It makes you sound like you're moaning or something. I ain't moaning. Anyway. Okay, y'all. Uh, we're yeah. gone, right? Yeah, we're we done. I'm finishing my clothes because I, I got to talk and Zeph forgot to fold my clothes. So Girl, you need to get back. Good you, idea. you need to stay on task. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.